Wow. Um, as I start to think about what I want to say about this beautiful honor, I start to think about how I didn't dream big enough as a young artist. I thought that my chance of ever winning a Tony Award would be as an actress, but God keeps showing me that his purpose is way bigger than mine. As I think about what I wanna say, I think about how much I hang on to the words of the elders in our community for guidance, for some answers along the way. I start thinking about the people who surrounded Zsa's like an army and said, we will make black women feel seen. The amazing Whitney White at the front lines, Alexis Elizabeth, Sharice Cromarty, Tanika Sadiku, China Gaten, Adenike Wright, Amber Tati, Hair by Susie, and the braid gang of Zsa Zsa's African hair braiding. The amazing cast whose transformative performances helped us to earn this Tony Award, Madison Wells, LaShawn's Productions, MTC, to the black acting community who knew that what we must do for black women is to say their name. And they said my name long before Broadway knew it. This Tony is for us. I start thinking about the young brown actress who years from now may wish she could step into the past and ask where the courage came from where my strength came from in the face of microaggressions, where my pride sprang from in the soil of Eurocentric standards of beauty. What to do when they want her to believe her work isn't good enough, it doesn't fit their standards, or her hair wasn't soft enough and that she is creating a problem because she asks them to braid it. The truth of the matter is you were enough all along. They just didn't want you to know it. The truth of the matter is when you enter spaces that are much too small for you, it is because it is up to you to make space for the next person. Don't become distracted. In the words of our elder, Toni Morrison, the very important point is to do the work that one respects and to do it well, and to make no compromises in its authenticity, and to do it better the next time. An artist's role is to bear witness, to contribute to the real record of life as he or she knows it. I tried to do that with Zsa Zsa's. I decided that my biggest purpose was to honor the heart of Jocelyn Bio's great work and to pay homage to those who have gone unseen. I wanted to pay homage to my beautiful mother, my grandmother, and to you, young lady, who may hear these words some years hence. I'm passing on a strength to you that has been passed on to me, and I pray that you take it and run with it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.